Absolutely. Okay, we're going to walk down at uh, Junk Foods here. Yep, I see the big truck down there, and we're going to go down, and uh, we'll be down in just a second. We're just two doors down. So we're going to go down, and Junk King's going to go give us an estimate as far as what it's going to take to tear out. Watch your step there. To tear out um, all the carpet and the things there, and we'll go unit by unit, and then they'll just give us a quote, and then we'll they'll come back tomorrow and have everything torn out, and those things will be all cleaned out. We'll be ready to go to get in there to start doing some uh, start the rehab process. Mike's here from uh, Junk King. Let's go over and talk to Mike. Let him get his eyes on this mess. <laughs> Hey, how you doing, Mike? Good to see you again. Good, great day. <laughs> yeah, great day, and we're glad you were able to come so quickly. Appreciate it. Our pleasure. This Always. is uh, Mike Stroud. He is uh, actually the franchisee owner here. Did I say that right? For Junking, franchisee exactly owner? Exactly right. All right, yeah. yeah. Stroud, uh, maybe some people from Kansas City know about the uh, fried chicken, the best in the world here. He has some tie into that. I remember there was some story about that, wasn't there? That, yeah, <laughs> there's a relationship there. Okay. Y yeah, long term. So maybe we'll get a free a couple free buckets of fried chicken or something out of this I'm deal. Sure, so that's going to happen. A couple of your guys are already inside. They're already cool. doing the measurements and everything, and uh, we'll, we'll walk you through. This is probably the worst one, so I'll let you come in and see what you got your hands full with here. It's always best to start with the worst. That's right. Oh, this. So here you go. It's all yours. <laughs> oh, that's great. You came out of the junk king. Actually, there's some pretty interesting stuff. Some old radio. This guy was uh, definitely in the electronics. There always is, and uh, it's always an adventure. We, we love going in on situations like this <laughs> because we've seen it before, and uh, we don't blink. It, yeah, these guys didn't seem too scared off. They said they'd seen worse. No, so. not at all. Um, it's, uh, oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, I think actually um, last week the last week the carpets weren't really wet, and I think that actually the hot water heater just busted because a couple of these boxes are wet now. So uh, I want to get the carpet out of there as quickly as we can. Oh, this ain't this ain't so bad. Yeah, no, no, just a lot of stuff. Just takes time. Yeah, and if you can't get it all taken care of today or whatever, that's fine. You guys can come back over and we. Um, I wasn't sure on all the appliances yet, but I think it will probably be able to, you know, definitely it'll be four or five appliances at a minimum that will come out of this. So to me, if that's something that you guys want to wait and do on a second trip, kind of do those all at once, that's fine with me. I'm more interested in getting all the stuff out. Okay. We understand. That microwave is so cool. Look at that. That is like antique. I had this when I was a kid. I mean, it's got the manual dial. Actually, I, I can't even believe I, can't believe I touched that. Yeah. I'm afraid, I'm afraid to look inside. Don't, don't be afraid. Got over the fridge. Yeah, the fridge is great. I saw the fridge. Yeah. You want me to warm you something up, guys? Nah, I'm good. No, okay. <laughs> Are you hungry? You want some pop or a sandwich? Nothing out of that fridge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, and plug your nose. Oh, wow. I didn't, cool. I didn't even smell it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. cracked it to see what was in it. You know what? It's, it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> so what do we have down here? Uh, just storage area. Looks like he kept... Take anything you might want, and then call this guy. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Alright. Do you want us to measure out all the appliances separate, then? Where are we sitting right now? So, we don't have power here? No. No. Not, not a problem. Now, there's an old phone on the wall. They may be powered, you know. No, no, I, I'm just looking for light sources. John King, I need you right now. Get over here. We're here. How's that, that for service? How quick was that? Actually, I called Mike this morning and said, Mike, could you get over? Um, I've got a project for you because this all kind of came about very quickly. And uh, and here he is with two guys in just a matter of minutes. <laughs> Where's the truck and a half? Truck and a half so far for the space. That's not bad. No. Okay. Pre pre appliances. Uh, those so, or something else? I haven't measured the, the stove, fridge. the fridge, or there's a washer over there. So, are we including the stove? Uh, like we haven't yet in our measurements. Okay. I I don't know if he's 100 percent sure on that or not. Yeah, I'd say if it's easy, Mike, just do everything without the appliances, then we'll go through. I think there's all. I don't think we're peeping anything in here. In this particular one, okay. I think there's we'll a couple take of the whatever others, you want, and, and we'll leave whatever you want. Of course, it, it's no big deal. I can measure appliances. Two. Oh, cool. Yeah. 
Cool. All right. Three. You can probably take that time. Find something you wanted? This is on slab, right? Yes. So yes. we know what we're looking at. Absolutely. Cool. We're good. And what do we have back here? What is that? I don't think we have much in the back. Nothing bad. Um, they're made. That, there's a storage in all these units. There's, this one has inside access. That one has outside access. So we just need to make sure we don't overlook the storage. And uh, that's typical. And it's one of the things we do is inspect storage units like that. We'll be good. All right. Moving on. So that fridge, I'll keep. Uh, that's it's if this works, I'll probably just buy new uh, new elements. Yeah. And new pans here, and this stove's in really good condition. So as long as the in, inside's not thrashed and we can clean it, we'll be able to put some new elements here and and put them on there. And this stove will look almost brand new. And then we'll get into. Uh, I mean that fridge, assuming it works. Is in great condition. It's a great way to save a few bucks on the yeah. project. And uh, yeah, the rest of it looks to be in good shape. Not even really um, that. I'll, I, I'll probably have you take out this carpet, or I may just leave it when I go to replace the flooring, and not, not have you guys worry about this one since it's dry. Whatever you'd like. Okay. Um, so we're going to leave both of these here. We're no appliances on this one. Cool. Okay. okay. Yeah, and this one's pretty cleaned up for the most part. The um, see left behind is some cords in the corner, and the bam. In the unit over, you guys don't do anything with demo as far as like taking any tubs or the toilets out. But we'll do that when we replace it. We'll sweat it. We're probably not your best choice. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I agree. Is there anything in here? That is actually uh, storage. Chair. Are you keeping the storm door? Uh. We'll keep it for now, because I do have some other, um, man, the tenants are hard on storm doors, it's ridiculous. Is there anything out back in either of these places that we need to get? Buddy, I got you a teddy bear. Board is good. <laughs> uh, I got you a teddy bear. <laughs> now this carpet, if we can cut it and take it, let's do it. Because there's no way that's getting salvaged. That light is on? Yeah, this one has power. Oh yeah, it does. The clock's on. We're good here. So actually, actually, this works. Except for that somebody's taking a hammer and beat the fridge. We've never ever seen that before. Um, you can take this door with you if you want to pop it off its hinges. If you don't, we'll take care of it. Okay. Sure, we can take that. We've got some nails and some hangers here. Yeah. Shake the photos up. So yeah, let's take this, let's get this carpet out of here. Yep. Um, that carpet out of here, and it won't just do it all. Let's get the carpet all out of this. Okay. We can do that. Um, How do you want us to go about measuring carpet? You guys can we'll take talk about it. Yeah. Ben, are we talking about down to the tax strips? Or including the tax strips? Um, I'm not trying to be technical. No, no, I know you are because it could take somebody an hour to take all the tax strips out of the entire place. Right. Um, I guess it, it kind of depends on what that costs. I have no idea what you're talking about. But I, I, I think. To do it right, we ought to take the tax strips out. I mean, I'm going to have to get, I'm going to have, somebody else has had to come in here with a um, scraper to get this tie up, to get this up. So I'm going to have to have somebody back in. Because I will probably take, I'll take all this out and then I'll redo the, all the floors the same. Fair enough. Um, we don't. Uh, you can, did you guys see this here? Oh. I don't know if there's stuff in there or not. No. Just some drama pieces for household items. You're taking this, right? Yes. 
We make sure we empty the garbage cans if there's anything in them. Nasty chub, but other than that, this one's really, really close on the carpet. I think it is. I it think, is. Uh, I mean, it's got a bad seam here. Yeah, it, it has. It's got couple. it's the carpet. This is it's got to come up. I can't unless I. Uh, You'll be happier if you take it out. Yeah, sure. I'll be happier. <laughs> Just another eight hundred bucks. But, uh, but or no, so it's more than that. You're right. So the question is, is if you can get another hundred bucks a month, which you can with, with, with the new, new carpet. carpet. Yeah, I think that uh, we'll do the same thing on this as far as. Um, you're you're going to stick with these countertops. I'll probably replace the countertop and leave everything else in here. But I'll, well, I'll, the walls are in good shape. The ceilings are, are in good shape. Um, there's a lot to be said about the this one. So if you're looking for a place, Mike, I mean, certainly going to be looking for tenants. What a wonderful <laughs> offer. Thank you. I, I had not thought about this, but uh, maybe this is the place for me. <laughs> yeah, so let's take the carpet out of this one. Okay. Okay. So, so we're going to do a written recap, as, as I, I'm sure you know, as to what's going to happen, what's not going to happen by unit. Well, we certainly know that they're welcome to get started on the first one. To take yeah, we, we'll start there. <laughs> And uh, by the time we clear that, you can have processed what you want to do with the remaining units. We go from there. Yeah, so we we already documented which appliances are staying in all four, right? Um, yes. Yeah. So um, we're going on the others. We're going to four. This is the only ones. other one with appliances that goes, correct? This stays. These all stay? These two stay. Okay, so it's just These the These stay, one. and then the other two whites stay, and then the one that had the microwave, I guess those go. Wait, are we missing one? No, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what. I think they were good in all the, all the ones. I'm just certain there. that if we're not sure. Oh, the fridge changed. that's okay. beating in. Uh, you want the fridge that's beat with a hammer gone? <laughs> what good to me? Let, let's leave it because Lowe's actually replaces um, appliances when they come in. When I buy a new appliance, Lowe's will take the old one for free. Okay. All right. Let the project begin. Yeah, that'll be uh, that'll be great. Junk King's gonna get in there. They're gonna take care of. Uh, they'll knock that out. They'll knock that out in 24 hours. We'll go back in there. There'll be nothing in that place. It'll be totally cleaned out. They'll do a broom sweep, and then it'll be all ready for my guys to get in and get to work as far as uh, what we need to do to get it rehab. So, you know, no dumpster rental. I don't have to worry about coordinating people in there. I just give them the keys on a lockbox and they'll go in there and get that place cleaned out. And it's probably gonna cost me somewhere in the neighborhood of about $500 for by the time they're all said and done for all four units. It's a great deal. I'm Ben Rayo, real estate investor, and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode.